we have been looking at those turkeys early in the morning every day. Uh, not every day, but several mornings we look at them because there's so many of them. They're roosting not too awful far from there. So let's look at them here late in the evening. Let's just start this video out this week by taking a look at what we have out there. And what we have is a lot of turkeys. I'm a pretty good ways from them out there. They're clear over on the other side of the road. You can see we've got both gobblers and hens moving in there. And they're getting ready to go to roost. There's a bottom and it falls down into a, a, a little draw right over on the other side of where they are. And uh, some really big giant oak trees in there. That's where those birds are roosting every night. Uh, I've gone down there and watched them go into roost. I might do that if I, I can find time, the exact right time of the day. It's, you know, we're getting shorter and shorter every day, so we will all the way up until December 21. You see those deer, those turkeys just sort of, them just disappear. You see their head and they just disappear. They're walking across that hill there, but they're kind of coming in from everywhere right now, going to that. See if maybe I can get those gobblers there to gobble. <coughs> Terrible call, Jenny. Terrible. Where are they going to gobble? Hmm. That's three gobblers right there. I don't know if they're Jake's or hard to tell at a distance. And of course, you can't see whether they have beards or no beards. A lot of the jakes are just a few months old, born this spring. Woo, 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 woo. Did you hear that gobble? Did you hear that gobble? Me neither. <laughs> it's because they didn't gobble. Way to go, Jimmy. They will gobble in the evening, particularly once they get in the tree, they'll gobble some. Those birds are thinking about flying up in the tree. Some of the other birds went and gone. There was a, there's some more up there. They're kind of coming in from all different directions into that roost area. And they're gonna be flying up in the trees here in just a little bit. It's a lot of fun to watch them go up. I've been right underneath roost trees, actually hunting, and not knowing I was underneath a roost tree. And then all of a sudden the birds come in and they start flying up over my head. And when that happens, I have to let sit there and wait until it gets pitch black to walk out of there so I don't want to scare them and make them fly off and be on the ground when it gets dark. They don't want to be on the ground when it gets dark. They want to be in a tree. My owl call is not very good either. No owls answer me. No turkeys gone. But what a great way to start another week with turkeys going to roost. Oh, there's a pleasant sight that we haven't seen in a while. Canada geese. Little flock of Canada geese. I saw three fly by just a minute ago, and I thought it was uh, Canada geese. And uh, they went on to the upper end of the lake and landed. And then I looked into that and saw one more, and I thought, sure, because I thought that was not a water turkey. The big black cormorants early in the morning like this look a lot like geese. Those are big Canadas. So that's great, fantastic. I thought maybe the ones that are here might have moved on a little further south. We've had very little winter, even though it's the uh, middle of December, getting close to the end of 2023, just about history. Made a rhyme, don't know it, but my feet show it because they're Longfellows. <laughs> what a corny old joke that is. Yeah, you remember how we used to have corny jokes like that when we were kids? We were kids, weren't we? <laughs> Very nice, a little bunch there. 
3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That'd be like pretty close to a dozen in my school. They're beautiful. Not much sunlight, not any sunlight on anything this morning. Cloud cover hanging around for a few days. I understand that everybody is probably tired of looking at turkeys. Not me. I never get tired of looking at wildlife. There's big gobblers strutting way out there in the woods. Here on Gobble. I'm scared Buddy, old Buddy out there. Right in the middle of them. They kind of scared him when they gobbled, I think. And seeing them everywhere. Hens, deer, tur turkeys coming across the road. Three big gobblers in full strut. When we look here, we see gobblers, gobblers. And half strut, trying to strut there a little bit. Young gobblers learning how to strut. More strutting gobblers. Buddy right back in the middle of the feed. I think probably the feeder went off. Could have been what caused them to gobble. And also, they're just everywhere out there. Coming in from the roost area. They've been out there since barely, barely got daylight. Just lots and lots of them. But coming across the road. Look, coming across the road. Three big boys in full strut, maybe four. And there's even more off to the left coming in. By the time it's all in debt, said and done, there'll be well over 60 out there. If there's not well over 60 out there right now, which is very likely and very possible. <laughs> oh my goodness. And little buddy right out there in the middle. Still no little whitey. On top of that, haven't seen forest in two or three days. It's dangerous in the woods, in the wild. But it's also a real thrill. For guys like me, I dig it. That is an incredible sight. I don't care who you are. That is an incredible sight. We have so many young gobblers coming, coming down off the hill. Is that beautiful? My goodness. Saves a lot. Look at those gobblers coming in. My, 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 my. Love is in the air in the turkey world. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and then all of those. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Look at those, look at those coppers going in the stride. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There must be 20 gobblers up there. Or more. And the, the, the ones in strut, are, you know, obviously you can tell the gobbler, there's a lot of gobblers there, not in strut. I mean, a lot. There's not many hens there. Well, I guess there's quite a few because there's just a lot of turkeys. I don't even know how many turkeys are there. The big boys are strutting their stuff. Anything about. There's a lot more back to the right that we can't see. 
from looking out this particular bedroom window. I've been an hour and a half this morning trying to get in the shower. I just can't get away from going from room to room to room, window to window to window, because everywhere I look, wild turkey. Bunch of hens coming down off the hill right there. It's like the ground is alive. There's an old morel archery target there, 20 years old, still shoot it. Faded out in the sun, 20 years of sunshine, fade us all out. Still good, it's still good. I've got new ones too, yeah. <laughs> that one's just stayed there and we can run out there and throw a few arrows out anytime we want. Lots of bow shooters in my family. I have been watching the turkeys this morning for about an hour. I haven't shot any video at all. Sort of tried to count a few times. It's been virtually impossible to count. But I've got almost a deer stand view out of this bedroom window here. And uh, might be able to count some. Three, five, eight, ten, <laughs> eleven. 13, 15, 18, 20, 22, then I can see. Now there's a lot in the front yard. Um, and I might have missed something right here. <laughs> As they move around, it just becomes virtually impossible. Look at these jakes here, how their beards are growing. Now those are probably last year's jakes, born last year. Take a look at these right here below me. There's a Jake right there that was probably born this spring. So he's only a few months old. The hens there, the same. Back away a little bit. Now, there are probably over 70 birds around. See some of them walking up on the deck. I've had to run them off the front deck. Now they create a mess. As you might suspect, they are large birds. But they're eating bugs and acorns. If these guys will stay around in the springtime when the bugs get bad, they should be a big benefit. Should also keep the ticks down, I would think. I believe that they will eat ticks. Not sure. I know they love grasshoppers. Ooh, do they love grasshoppers. Some years we have really, really bad grasshoppers. How about a sunrise? Oh my gosh. There's the sunrise at the eagle. <laughs> and we all talk about sunsets. And sunsets are great. Well, some of them just scared off of the front porch there. This is not even, this is probably only a third of the birds that's in the front yard. What's out here? I'm so close to them right here, and I'm able to talk because I'm, I'm actually in Sherry's bedroom, Sherry and Jack's. We really don't have bedrooms allocated except for Sherry and Jordan, two special girls in my life, obviously. My great daughter and my great granddaughter. Jordan's not a great granddaughter. I do have a great granddaughter, Stormy. Jordan is a regular granddaughter that is great. <laughs> like Sherry. My only daughter, but a great one. For sure. So blessed with the kids and grandkids that I have. Well, I thought they were all going to come around here and we'll be able to see them all walk through the yard. And now they're working back around toward the front between the house and the lake.